Well, it's all quiet on the radar right now, but that wasn't the case a little bit earlier. I had a few little storms popping up. Yes, we did. case later on either. Right. Tomorrow, another round of some showers and maybe an isolated storm. And then Thursday, or Tuesday, the other <laughs> T-Day, the seven day Tuesday, we have widespread showers and storms ahead of a cold front. And this is going to be our best chance for rain in the seven day. We need the showers. Hopefully we get it. And it's not on a weekend day. How about that? Here we go. Weather headlines. What's coming up? The next several days, we have heat and humidity back in the forecast. 90s both Monday and Tuesday. Pop up showers for Monday afternoon, and then widespread storms again, possible Tuesday night into early Wednesday. And here's the probability of precipitation the next several days. We have about a 20% chance for a couple of those showers to pop, mainly away from the coast tomorrow afternoon. Tuesday afternoon, we'll be watching for a line of showers and storms move across the area. A lot of these might actually dissipate by the time they hit southeastern Massachusetts. Sits, but I'll show you the latest timing in just a second. And then Wednesday morning, 20% chance. Then high pressure takes over for the end of the week. We're nice and dry for Thursday and Friday and perhaps for the first part of the weekend. Live look at radar. It's all clear and all dry and quiet after we did have a few strong and severe thunderstorms. At one point, a warning across southern New Hampshire and a warning across uh, Douglas, Massachusetts. And those storms and showers, as promised, have dissipated. Now that we lost all that daytime heating, the sun has set and now no more storms overnight tonight. So no thunder to wake you up. But it is foggy out there. Dense fog reported in Chatham and Nantucket. Visibility there a quarter mile or less. And and the visibility will be reduced along the coastline as we see the more stable air mass in that marine layer take over. That patchy fog could be dense from time to time for your morning drive Monday. No rain just yet, but in the heat of the afternoon, those popcorn storms and showers here. It doesn't look like we'll see anything severe, but Tuesday, there may be enough fuel in the atmosphere to see an isolated severe storm. Here's noon Tuesday. We're mostly dry to the first half of the day. Then the line starts to get organized across western Massachusetts, moves towards Boston, and interacts with that marine layer, the more stable air mass here. Big question is, does anything hold together by the time it makes it to the Cape and the islands? Hopefully it does, because again, we need the rain, but hopefully it's nothing severe. If we do see a severe storm on Tuesday, it would probably be outside of 495, damaging wind gusts, maybe some hail, but of course, lightning and heavy, heavy rainfall. That could lead to some isolated flash flooding too. One to two inches of rain to work with, with the potential rainfall through Tuesday night. And then almost nothing in the rainfall potential now. Again, hopefully that changes. Dew points, very soupy. It is in the 60s and 70s and anytime you get a dew point of 65 degrees or higher you notice it it's sticky and uncomfortable we're going to go up to dew points in the low 70s for almost everyone monday and the same for tuesday extremely hot and humid we may even see some heat advisories across the connecticut river valley as temperatures could be in the mid 90s heat index values in the low 100s that's again going into tuesday then notice a big change here Wednesday. Now, this is after that cold front moves through. Dew point temperatures go down into the 50s and 60s. Temperature right now, 69 degrees in Boston. And we're in the 70s and 60s in most spots. Overnight tonight, mostly clear. Patchy fog, 68 degrees. And there's a seven-day. We go up to 90 for tomorrow afternoon. Hot, humid, and hazy pop-up showers. Tuesday into Wednesday, our best chance for widespread rain. By the end of the week, we cool things off a little bit, but the humidity much lower, especially by Wednesday.